Welcome back to Drumcast TV for January 26, 2011. My name's Darren Mathis, glad you could tune in. Today, I received a voicemail message from Tim in Cincinnati, Ohio, so I'd like to go ahead and play that now. My name is Tim Johnson, I'm calling from Cincinnati, Ohio. I want to play for the church uh, worship team, but I lost my wrist. I have a, a, a rod in my wrist, so I don't have flexibility in my wrist. Uh, what kind of problems am I going to sustain trying to play, uh, or should I just not even try to play drums anymore? And how can I uh, overcome it, or how can I compensate for it? Thank you. Hey, Tim, thanks for your voicemail. I appreciate it. Well, one thing I can recommend for sure is to not give up. Recently, I saw a video featuring Dan Caro, and he is a gentleman who, I believe when he was about two years old, was caught in a garage fire and was severely burned. As a result of that accident, he lost all his fingers, and he's had multiple surgeries throughout his life. One in particular, the doctors were able to provide him the use of a thumb, but he's actually a professional drummer, and you can visit his website at dancaro.com. And I'll put a link to one of his videos at Drumcast TV slash 012611 for January 26, 2011. Uh, I was really inspired by his story, how he's overcome the odds. Uh, and he actually, he said one of his greatest accomplishments in his entire life was just be able to uh, tie his shoes. And that he made it sound like that was even more difficult than learning to play the drums. And he plays the drums by, well, like I said, he has a thumb on one, one hand, and the other hand, or the other wrist, at the end of his arm, he puts a, uh, I think a tennis wrist, tennis wristband and a couple of rubber bands to hold the stick in there. So when you mentioned that you have lack, a lack of flexibility in your wrist, I was amazed at the timing that I just saw this video, because I've always thought, you know, to be a great drummer, you had to have this finger control, your wrist control, elbow, arm, you know, everything working together. But Dan definitely proved me wrong in that area. And I think it's great timing that I just recently saw this video and got your voicemail. Because I want to convey to you that you two can overcome, even if you don't have, you know, full facility of your entire uh, arm. Because Dan, what he does is he puts, puts that stick in the wristband and you can tell he can pull off double strokes and he's simply, I assume he's mainly using his elbow. I'd love to talk to him sometime about his technique, but it's mainly coming from the elbow and his arm. Now you mentioned, Tim, that you have no movement in your wrist. Well, maybe you still have movement in your fingers. And if you watch a lot of my videos, I kind of focus on the importance of, for me, I've been able to increase my speed and endurance by using my fingers and bouncing the stick like this kind of. So I always focus on pinching the stick just tight enough that it doesn't go flying with my thumb and forefinger. And then I use my other fingers kept together to propel it. And it's almost like I always say bouncing a basketball. I think as you mentioned with your wrist and lack of flexibility, you'll be able to use your fingers hopefully. And even if not, please watch this video by Dan Carroll because you'll be inspired to use what you have. Uh, and especially in your case for God's glory at the church. So I appreciate your uh, voicemail once again. And uh, I'm just gonna play out here by playing a little solo. I'm gonna dedicate this one to Dan Carroll. Thanks again for watching Drumcast TV. If you'd like to support Drumcast TV, please go to Drumcast TV forward slash store. There's a few items there, including my drum DVD. It's 42 lessons for $15.95. You can purchase it, download it online. And also there's a couple other items there. Purchase of any of these items goes to support Drumcast TV. So thanks for your support. Until next time, 
keep practicing and God bless.